Hi, this is Craig Daniels. Welcome to Craig's Classroom. In this uh, lesson, I wanted to go over uh, the, the Picasa application. And uh, I, it's a photo editing application that you can download for free. It's from Google. There will be a link in my blog post that you can get it. Uh, once you've installed it and have it running, there's a lot of great things we can do with it. One of the things that uh, I'm going to highlight today is using the collage tool within Picasa. Now, a lot of us are uh, upset with the upcoming turning off of the Picnic web application. And uh, for the most part, uh, Picasa handles everything that Picnic did. However, there is one thing that Picnic does very well, and that's what cr to be able to create these grid patterned uh, collages. In other words, you have a preset set of tiles that you can, in fact, let me go over to the blog post that I'm working on currently. So if I bring up that page here, this is what I'm talking about. In in the picnic world, we had the ability to do these patterns of tiles, of photos, and you could see that if you did wanted to do four squares or if you wanted to do three across, it would give you this preset pattern of tiles that you could just drop your photos in. Now, Picasa doesn't do that quite the same way. Picasa has a great collage tool, but it's a free form. You drop your photos on the canvas and you can move them around and it's great that it's free form but sometimes you want this nice pattern effect so what i've done is i've done a little bit of uh, prep work here and i've set up some different patterns some different tiling patterns that we can create these patterns in picasa once i show you how that it's really quite easy to do this and that's what's the purpose of this video is but you can see in these tiling patterns we can we can arrange our photos in some different patterns and we can crop our photos with some different preset that Picasa does have these preset sizes so that we'll be able to drop them into these tiley patterns and that's the goal of this video so I'm going to jump over to Picasa and I'll show you some techniques that you can use that you can be able to do that so here I am in Picasa and one of the things once you have a large library of photos is that sometimes it becomes hard to find the photos unless you know a few tricks. Up here at the top, this search box is extremely useful if you leverage it. So I'm, I'm looking for some photos that I took in a recent Cape Cod trip. So I'm going to search for Cape Cod and it was a boat tour specifically that I wanted to highlight with this collage. So you see how easy that is? I found the photos here and there on the left hand side I can I can see over here that's the that's the target album that I'm looking for and these are the photos that I'm looking for now if I go back to the collage that I'm going to create I'm, and for this, this demo I'm going to create this pattern up here this pattern up here so uh, that is a combination of some square type crops as well as this as an aspect ratio that's is what's called what we call a widescreen or a 16 by 9 which is a very wide aspect ratio but it has this dramatic effect so I need to crop two photos at the 16 by 9 or the wide and two photos at the squares so if I come back to my Picasa page I need to pick four photos for that combination so I had already looked through this this morning I was looking at this one with with the boats in it and if I'm picking multiple photos that aren't consecutive I'm jumping down to this one down here I'm gonna hold in Windows I hold my control key down pick the second one and then I'm gonna hold my control key down and pick the third one and you can see down here in the tray down here at the bottom I'm building a, a tray of photos and then I hold my control key down and pick the fourth one so in my tray I've got four photos I I'm going to use some special crops that I don't want to mess up my originals with these you know special crops so I'm what I'm going to do is use a technique that I like to do is down here at the bottom there's a tool for export so what I can do with those four photos is click on the export tool it brings up a dialog box and it's going to send out a copy of those photos to whatever folder I tell it it's going to start off with in my pictures folder a Picasa subfolder, an exports subfolder, and then whatever I type in the box becomes my final subfolder. So I like to use keywords. So if I say Cape Cod Boat, 
again that's going to enable me to search and find that folder easily once I've done the export the other thing that I'm going to do at this point is in the in the export options the image size do you see it says use the original size I could resize them smaller and that's good to do when you're ready to insert them into your post but at this point we're still using uh, we want the high resolution originals so I'm going to use the export tool to a subfolder using the original size and go ahead and export those four folders Picasa takes just a moment to create that it will pop up opening up the folder for you so so if you wanted to use those right now in that form you could do that I'm going to close that I don't need it that that way at this point but you see over here on the sidebar now I have an exports folder or an exports group and because I'm still in the Cape Cod boat search criteria there's my exported folder right there so whereas this one up here was my original so that I'm not going to modify this one down here is my exported one so I can do whatever I want with those and it's not messing up my originals so clicking into here shows me the four photos down here that I'm going to be using so I now I need to crop my photos into the special shapes that will fit into my grid pattern so we're going to do two squares and two wide screens 16 by 9s so let's go through this if I click onto a photo and then over here on the sidebar I'm looking for my crop tool so over here I've got a cropping tool so on this photo I'm going to use a 16 by 9 so I'll crop this one and you notice this list box here shows me my preset sizes pull this down look for 16 by 9 which is an HDTV shape or or in other words it's a wide format so 16 by 9 tells me the size the shape that I want to use so now what I can do is drag a box on the screen move it around so I can determine what I want to crop out some of it's going to have to go away but I want all of the water a little bit of the sky so that's what I want I apply it Now I'm going to use my arrow keys and I'm going to go to the right arrow to the next photo this one I'm going to crop as a square so I'll come back to that in a moment because I want one more at 16 by 9 so go right screen or right arrow crop again 16 by 9 still remembers that drag my box on here and then I can move it up or down depending on how much I want so I definitely want that seal at the bottom of my crop and then I can slide that up so I can see he's he's good in a good position there but it's got that wide aspect ratio crop I apply that one now I'm using my arrow keys again go to the right or to the left let's go back to the left now I can use the crop tool again this time I want to do I need to do first square so I in my presets here there's a square option and when I drag my box now it's constraining it to a square so I do that and I can drag it around how much do I want to see let's put it right about there and apply it I use my arrows again I'm gonna go over to my last photo which is my lighthouse photo crop it's already remembering the square so I can drag my box here then I can move my box once it's there so I can determine how much I want to see and where everything's positioned so I'll set it like down right there and apply that so when I go back to my library now in my exports folder so we're still in the exports folder down here I've just done my four crops so I'm ready to now create my collage with those special crops so with that said let's uh, select the four photos so I'll just drag over the top of them to select all of them and then down on the bottom toolbar I'm looking for the collage tool do you see the collage tool so I'll click on the collage tool and what it will do is <coughs> give me a canvas now that I can arrange my photos by just by moving them around but you see how it's, it's it's in this free form kind of a movement type of thing so I can drag a photo to, to move it around once I I'm on a photo do you see the handle here that handle if I grab it I can use that handle to rotate it and I, if I drag it outward it makes it smaller if I drag it inward I'm sorry it makes it larger if I drag it inward it makes it smaller so what I want to do is kind of just pre-arrange my photos here if I go back to my blog post which which had the the sample of what I wanted it to look like basically it's a, up here you can see 
it's this pattern. So it's a square next to the wide, and then in the opposite hand, a wide next to the square. So if I go back to, to uh, Picasso, basically we're going to use a wide and a square, and then we flip this around on the bottom, and we do a square next to a wide. So what we want to do is have the heights of all of these match. So if I take these two wide ones temporarily on top of each other, I can I can drag that so that they're the, going to be the, the same size height wise. So I'm matching the height wise. See that they match up in the height. So I'm watching that they match up in the height. Now I can drag that one down below. Now the two squares, I can I can overlay it on top of it like this, and I can drag it down until the height matches. And then I can drag it over and place it down. Now I'm looking for a little gap in here. So we have right down the middle, we want a little bit of a gap. Now looking at, okay, so that's that works. Now I'm going to take this one and overlay it on top of the other one. And drag it down to match the height and that looks good so now I can drag it over so I have a gap between those two I can select both of those and move them both up together now everything should line up here putting gaps in between all of them so you can see I have I have my gaps running down and down they should all be the gaps should all be relatively the same right and now I can do a drag a box over the, all four photos and I can position all four and I can size all four up proportional to each other. It doesn't have to be um, any particular size, but you just want it so that um, it's, you know, it, it fills the canvas pretty much. We're going to export the final result here to the target size, that, so it doesn't really matter. Just make it look nice on the canvas. We're going to cut off all the extra canvas around the X on the outside in just a moment. But talking about the canvas, all the canvas needs to be, I should have done this earlier on, but you can just pick any of the preset canvas sizes. It doesn't really matter. You could pick an 8.5 by 11 or an 8 by 10, for instance, and then just put it into uh, landscape mode. So down here in these buttons here, you've got two buttons. One's for landscape, one's for portrait. Just set it into landscape mode, and that will give you a nice big working canvas that you can, you can set your photos down on top of. Now the other thing I need to mention here is that the background color is an option. If you pick the sampler tool here, it pulls up a palette that you can see you can pick any color in the spectrum. So you don't you can pick into the lighter colors if you wanted a lighter background canvas, or you can pick into the darker. In fact, up at the top, if you wanted to go with black, you could go with black. If you wanted no color, you could choose white. So it's up to you. I'll go ahead and choose uh, into in for this demo. I'm going to choose into the blues and somewhere that looks good. And I'll click down. That sets the color. So we're done creating our our grid patterned collage here. And so what I need to do is lock it all in with this button here that says go ahead and create the collage. So I'll click on that button. And it just takes just a moment that it locks in those changes into a single photo. And you can see it creates a very high resolution down here at the bottom, a very high resolution original collage that you could use if you were if you wanted it in high resolution. Now, for the purpose of a blog post, we don't want that high of a resolution, so we're going to resample it down to a smaller format. But before we do that, we need to cut off all the excess canvas. So now that I've created my collage, I'm going to come over and do the crop tool one more time but it's going to crop down the entire collage. So we'll use the crop tool. This time, however, we're going to set the, the proportions to manual because I want it to be free form. So if I drag a box that goes all the way across and then I can make it wide enough so that I have a gap on the outside that's similar in size to the inside gap, then I can drag it up and drag it down on the edges. So you see we're cutting off all the excess canvas and I can apply that crop. And that got rid of all that excess canvas, and there is our final, uh, nice, nicely bordered, uh, cropped, grid-shaped collage. So, the f so again, the resolution of the 
what Picasa creates is extremely high. This is 4,000 pixels across, way too high for a blog post. So what we're going to do is use the export tool one more time. And I'll go ahead and in this again, a subfolder Picasa, so we can find it. Remember, we need to be able to find this thing. Exports, and then a subfolder called collages. And that works for me because I know I'll, when I'm ready to upload my image, I'll go to the collages export folder. This time, we're, the image size, we're going to use the option that says resize. And for active rain, if you're, if you're putting these on active rain, the content area maximum is 684 pixels. So you could slide this bar all over the place to pick a size, but we want to just type in that box, 684, if you want to maximize. You don't want to go ever over 684 because it will be too wide for your active rain content area. Anything 684 or under is fine. So we'll go ahead and, and that's the target output, then, and then I'll use the export button to do the export. And in just a moment, it pops up. My It ac opens up the folder for me, and there's my image that I can go ahead now and upload into my Active Rain blog post. So we created a nice collage. Again, when it's time to upload, we need to be able to find it. So you go to your, if you just use the defaults, it goes into your My Pictures folder. There's a subfolder for Picasa. You look for the Exports subfolder, and we use the Collages subfolder. So you'll need to know that path when you're ready to upload your photo. So there's our export. It's all ready to go into our blog post, and it has this nice, neat grid pattern that's similar to what we were doing in Picnic. However, we were just did all of that in Picasa. So I hope that showed you a little bit about the collage tool in Picasa. Although it's a free form, you can, you can float those photos in any way that you want. But if you use these ideas that I generated here for you, you can, you can pr pick some of the preset cropping sizes and arrange them onto a canvas in a nice, neat grid-like pattern. And then you'll be able to have a nice-looking graphic that you'll be able to insert into your blog posts. Well, that's another lesson here in Craig's classroom. I hope you uh, learned something new today, and I, I appreciated that you stopped by to take a few moments to come to the classroom to learn new things. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you at the next session in the future. Take care.